help if uh, the game was there. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let me know if it's too loud. Audio settings change depending on what stream I'm doing, so... Yes, you'll notice the tone of the game has shifted quite substantially since we last were uh, here. I just quickly adjust myself and put ourselves on this side. I don't know what side I was on last time, but we'll be on this side this time around. So, let's do some rhyme. So, if you did, if you caught my stream last time, we were discovering what this game really is and what it means to the character and what they're going through. And now we are going to complete it and <laughs> there was a the island we were up to or the area we we're up to basically brought all the other set pieces we've worked with together and i think we i think there's only maybe one other chapter after this but yeah all right so as you can see we we're completing little little statue boys Ikaro. and we learnt that the fox at the end of the day, it was us. We were the fox all along. And then, uh... The, all the little foxes that we've seen is also us. So... Once we go and complete an area that looks very familiar to the start of the game, I think we'll be moving on to something bigger. All these unhappy spirits. You'll be dead by tomorrow. Leave thy chat by alone. Am I okay? I'm fine. Do I sound not okay? I'm a little... My nose is a little... Feels a little funny. A little dry. I really doesn't sound like I'm, <laughs> I'm sad. Just, uh... Just trying to be a bit somber for this, uh... This segment of the game. I sound a little low. No, I'm fine. Actually got a little distracted. Which way is, where are we going? That way. I sound like I'm sad. Some people say that, I don't know. I don't know why. Some days it's just, people come by and they're like, I sound sad. But this, look at the tone of the environment. I think it's okay to sound a little sad when it looks like this. I don't know where I'm jumping. I think because we're, it, we're it's sort of quiet and uh, it's just us, Kuro. I think, um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know about multiplayer mayhem. I feel like uh, perhaps, perhaps maybe we should have a look at changing uh, whether or not we should be doing it. And, uh, Maybe we can do something else instead. Oh, there's water. Just because it's so hard to coordinate uh, everyone to join in for a game, especially even if they vote for it. Like, they can't necessarily make it, but they do want to play it. So, we'll see. Maybe it's just me playing something, and then if people want to turn up, they can turn up rather than uh, trying to get a voted one. I don't know. We'll see. Yes, we're very... Our, our characters are very... He's a sad boy. ANC, how you going? Welcome back. Take a sip of water? Alright, sip of water time. Oh, I can't actually grab on that. I restocked, so we got a lot of water. Um, actually, question. Kuro, can you make sure that uh, the costume thing isn't disabled? Because, uh... Someone said they couldn't request it. Um... Can't be long, you're about to stream yourself. Oh, awesome. What are you going to stream, Al? It's always hard when people come past and they're like, oh, I'm going to go stream. I'm like, oh, I'd send people your way, but <laughs> I'm live currently right now, so. Um, which way was the entrance? This way? Costumes aren't disabled? Okay, someone said that the yesterday they couldn't request a costume. I don't know why. you guys and your love hearts. 
You're going to watch a new movie from trailers from the DC fandom? Oh, okay. Whoops, I just ran into the thing. He ran out of stock. Oh, is that what happened? Look, it's us. We are the crystal boy. We were always the crystal boy. Unfortunately, well, I feel like uh, Rainbow is going to miss this stream. And she was really enjoying this, so maybe she'll catch the later, the, the lot of it. Apparently, you can only have one cost redemption of the costume. Yeah, that's what I got right now. Now the now the, the fox is going as well. But yeah, we're a part we're a part of the despair part of this game. Because if you haven't figured it out, I talked about it last stream, but this is the the five stages of grief. Seven stages of grief? Five stages. Yeah, I have a few friends that were talking about that the the DC stuff. I haven't watched any of it yet. I realized I was going to do the, um, uh, I was going to do a let's watch of the indie Nintendo stuff, and then I ended up just doing separate. Whoa, we're now a black spirit like them. People can't redeem the costume because Rainbow redeemed it yesterday. Oh, okay. That's why. <laughs> You're fine, NC. Don't worry. Sometimes you gotta get stuff off your chest. Do you care if I spoil a bit of stuff? Don't, don't, no spoilers. No spoilers, Al. What do you mean for the, the DC stuff? If you're talking about the DC stuff, go for it. So you meant this game. No, I'm too small. I'm a short boy. I have teeny weeny legs and tiny arms. The DC stuff? Not the game. Okay, yeah, go for it. I saw something about Batman, but I haven't had a look yet. Can you hear me slouching? Oh, I just got comfy, ENC. Yeah, let's sit up. Alright. Uh, this way. No. I'm gonna go up. There you go. What are we climbing? Since we became the black soul because of grieving, does that mean that the dark souls are also people grieving? I think it might be just his representation of grief. That he's he's trying he's the darkness consuming him. I don't think it's a representative of actual individuals. I don't think this world this island is real. The a machination of all forms. go. Your pet? What do you mean your pet? <laughs> See? Batman had a trailer and then we got some news on that Flash game. Oop. Was I meant to drop down? I don't know if I was meant to drop down though. We go back down? I can't see any way, so maybe we go back out. It looks like that chain might be something accessible. Slide. <sighs> Batman had a trailer and we got some news on the Flash one that made you fat happy. The Suicide Squad trailer came out. What well, was there a game? Or was it actually for the movie? All well, your thing you'll say is that a polka dot man is in the movie. Polka dot man? Oh, okay. Oh, it's the, su it's the sequel to Suicide Squad. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Is this like in the, uh, uh, the mind of the character then? Hard to say. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't made fully my determines on what I believe this game actually is, um, but this is where I think I'm at to right now, in terms of thought process. So. Oh, I look, I can't yell. Lost my yell. He's he's got no more scream left. That's I also like the idea that uh, screaming being the mechanic, the yelling, all he wants to do is yell out. Um, and that's, uh, that's part of the mechanics in terms of doing stuff, but once it's gone, it's gone. And I only scream so much. A movie and a game were announced. Oh, okay. The light, it burns.
does a very good job in this game at illuminating uh, locations uh, that you're meant to go next to. I think this game is such a nice flow through. Like, again, I don't think this is particularly tough, but it's just a very enjoyable experience. This is just a, this is a very well crafted game. Um, and it's just nice to have games where you're just sort of like, yep, this has accomplished everything that I think it's set out to do. I don't really think I have any faults for this game, I'll be honest. Minus that weird one qu crash that we had. Clash. Still in, uh, like, cutesy mode. Let's run up here. What are we freeing? We're freeing the light. Oh. Now we're a light boy. Can I touch the orb? I yell at the orb. I can't yell at the orb. We cast this shadow. You're off now. You have a wonderful stream. You better for Palico. Thanks out. You have a good day too. Enjoy learning more about your 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 comic book related content. Couldn't find a better way to phrase that. Where I landed. Alright, so that's the top of the tower. We've made it to the top of the tower now. Oh look, it's the spirit fox. It's upside down. Guinea pig Winston died a long time ago. Spent an hour and hoping he'd wake up. Oh. Yeah. It can be really sad. I think one of the hardest things is if, like, with pets, is like, unlike humans all the time, where they will end up going to hospital or something like that, where it's like, uh, a lot of the time there's a lot of pets that might just die in your arms or something like that. It's very sad. Oh, the tower is upside down. Why are we on the roof? What does that mean? This entire world is turned upside down. But that's just, unfortunately, a part of life. And that's what this game is kind of about, is the exception... The accepting of things that are, or just the what the world is, and accepting grief. Ironically, the name of that is... Oh, wow. Oh, what? Hang on. Sorry, wait. <gasps> oh, no. Did the game just do a switcheroo? Oh, no. Oh. It wasn't the boy that watched his dad die. It was the boy that died. And that's why the fox was wandering around the island. Oh, so it was. It was the father accepting. Or is it? Is that actually what happened? There might be more to this. Also, the name of that achievement was There Is No Hope. You're going to be actively watching, but not active in chat? <laughs> That's okay, Kuro. You do you. So, is this, bo this, is this this boy's passing into the underworld? Now I'm, now I'm wondering whether or not it is, there's another layer here. Because the idea that if it was the father and he was imagining all of this for his son. Well, now I'm getting vibes, vibes of Code Vein. He's like walk through uh, that pieces.
Hello. Father? He's gonna crumble, isn't he? Yep. What is this? Looks like the sense of acceptance. They've realized their end has come, so they've thrown themselves off. Or shall we? Into something greater. Oh, and that's a... Oh, it's a lockbox. That's what the keyhole was the entire time. Is he locking or unlocking the memories? Oh, we were the dad the entire time. I never would have thought that. Thought it was the other way around. Oh, it's his kid's room. He was probably never brave enough to go in. Oh, I thought the game was going to crash. Oh, he glitched through the door. <laughs> uh, way of uh, messing with everything. The keyhole was the, the tower the entire time. Him being brave enough to go in here. There's his boat. There's the lighthouse. That's why it looked like a lighthouse. Like barely anything in this room anymore. Huh? Didn't interact with anything. Oh, don't do me like this game. Oh, is this why Rainbow wanted me to do this? So I cry on stream. <laughs> Just cry, we can't see your face. But yeah, it, it only had, I thought it would only have about like 15, 30 minutes left. So that, that, that pretty much landed on the time frame that I thought it would. But yeah. What a wonderful, wonderful game. It's funny because it is, it seems to be a French uh, IP. And I think... Sometimes they tell tales in a particular way that's just very impactful. Like, it didn't need to go heavy on the narrative. It was what it was. So there must be a whole heap of interconnectedness with all the individual things, like the idea of the birds, the robots, the lighthouse, the fox. What about the pigs? What are the pigs? <laughs> but... This is one of those types of games where it had a perfect amount of polish. It had, it told what it needed to tell in the time frame it did. It was very pretty. It was engaging and impactful. Like that game. Oh, it's in memory of someone. It's beautiful at first, but it slowly turns dark and sad. But I mean, that's beautiful in its own way. With gratitude and homage to Sylvia, whose unforgettable voice guides us through the midst of darkness towards our dreams. 
I had to catch my voice there. <laughs> I don't think I can read this stuff out loud. <laughs> I wonder if these are all messages from the Patreons or the people that participated in making this game. Because it's just so many little heartfelt messages. Oh yeah, me. <laughs> There's a quite a few studios that worked on this then, I guess. Hmm. G Factory. Yeah, no, I, I think that is a wonderful game. I want to have a look at the studio that made this now and see if they've worked on anything else because if they've worked on anything else prior to this or after this, I kind of want to check them out. But hopefully this game sold well. I think it did. It's pretty much everywhere. I realized I actually own this twice, both on PC and PS4. But, uh,. I think games like this is like this is what I would like out of a lot more indie ones where it's just it's just such a nice package it doesn't take you too long to get through there is a bit of extra stuff you can do and stuff but it's like an enjoyable experience all the way through and it sort of justifies its existence unlike some games where they just sort of people just wanted to make a game and then that's out there but yeah And yeah, it's one of those ones that's like, as much as there was deep elements about it, I don't think it was like, this isn't like deep dive level worthy right now, whereas there's lots of little things you can speculate, speculate about, but it's one of those things that the game has such a core premise and such a specific narrative that you can just focus on that and it's okay. <laughs> Chris, you're ruining the mood. Way too witches. <sighs> but yeah, that's definitely a game I would suggest to people. I've already talked to friends about it and talking about how I think this is a, uh, I think this is a game that everyone should play. I don't think it's the, I don't think it's the type of game that. necessarily will connect with everyone but I think it's everyone should play it like it's it's not a game that has a massive expansive playtime or deep universe that you have to it's just it's an experience that you can just like you can just immerse yourself in it <laughs> yes yeah, so if you if you just tuning in Chris it like um we just went through a game that ended up being about uh, the grief of losing someone you love. Did you show up for the end of the credits? Oh, I'm sorry. Everyone showed up right at the end. Hey, Thermal. But yes, I. if you did miss this and you're only getting in here for the credits, play this game, please. I highly suggest playing this game. I think it's very, very good. Um, yeah. I'm very glad that I, I played that as a quick look and then decided to complete it. But what a wonderful little experience that is. But yes, that was Ryan. <laughs> now, I can't believe we now know what the tower was the entire time. Like, I thought about it a few times, but I didn't know exactly what it was. I actually thought it might have been a chest, but, uh, no. Extras. 
It's a little weird now. I, I, I think that's like a little weird about this is there's a level of being a game about acceptance and letting go and stuff like that. Oh my god, I just do realize what all these are. Oh, I know what all of these are now. I don't know what these are, so I wonder what the keyholes were. Maybe that's looking into his room. There must be... yeah, this artwork's wonderful. I thought this game would have a really nice concept art. What a... I'm, I'm so happy I played this game, just saying. <laughs> Oh, there's a full song. You can complete a full song. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I kind of want to complete this game 100% now. But yeah, it's a little... Okay, so what I was going to say is a little weird. The idea that you have the boy in his little outfit and you can replay this game, but you can go to 100% the game. And just the idea that each of these individual things... Um, <laughs> like, you can go complete the game, do extra, go back. The point of the game is being able to let go. Like, I feel like there's almost a Yoko Taro level thing that's missing here in terms of saying it's okay and being the one to make the decision to uninstall the game and you're finished with it. That your journey has completed. Your, your level acceptance is that. But that's okay. That's, that's, that's just a thing that very few people ever would have the courage to do in a video game. Um, but... Yeah. All right. I feel like that's enough rambling. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone for watching Rhyme. Um, we will move on to the next game, which is Our Boy. Um, I'm going to continue that playthrough. So, well, Our Boy will only take a few other. Um, that should only take me a few sessions. So it's going to be another shorter playthrough, and then we'll pick another bigger one. I think. It sounds like the ending of Nier. You gotta be quiet, you can't talk about the ending of Nier. Thermal, that's how it works, remember. But yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. I will switch over games quickly. And uh yeah. <laughs> don't worry, I don't think I don't think too many people uh Oh, I thought it was gonna do something there. I thought it was about to do something special. Oh, hey Genki! You've caught me just as I'm sw swapping games. But yeah, um, uh, imagine if I got a, a raid during that sad, somber ending. Um, I need to make it so the game can be seen. Give me two seconds. But, uh, yeah. Yoko Taro games are one of those things that, that's why I dance around, uh, content in them. Because they can be very much, uh, if someone learns about it, it can be... It takes away from it. It's it's one of those things that people just need to experience. And it's 